all, it's Kelly here again, and today I want to share with you some things that I use quite a bit. Um, well, actually, I just, one of these things are, is brand new, but um, I love using these photo printers um, because they print out smaller pictures uh, for, let's say, if I'm scrapbooking or especially my mini photo albums, um, I can get some small pictures um, to fit in there so I can do more, you know, do several pictures. So I love these things. And um, let me show you what I have. Um, this one here is the Canon Selfie CP1200, and I've had it for a couple of years. And it prints out a 4x6. So um, I love that. This one, I my kids gave me last Christmas, and it is the Kodak Photo Printer Mini, and it prints out, the pictures are, are about uh, 3 by 2, a little over 2 inches. Uh, I was trying to find the exact thing, but I don't see it. But anyways, um, we'll go on. Um, so I love that. Um, because the pictures are, you know, really small. And then also, I just picked this up. And this is Kodak Mini 2. Now, I went ahead and got this because um, it's getting harder and harder to find the the printer paper for this. For this one. So, I went ahead and... Because I had accidentally ordered printer paper for it. And it actually was for the Kodak Mini 2. So... I went ahead and just got the mini two. So, and it sounds like the pictures sizes are about the same as the, just the, the original one. Um, I'm going to go kind of a, a overview of each one and um, show you how um, easy it is to get these things set up and to use. Um, so let me get into that. Okay, now I love all three of these because you can print straight from your phone. And of course, we all take pictures with our phones. So this is super handy. Um, and um, let, me, let me show you. The first one I want to show you is the Canon Selfie. Now, um, with this, it, of course, is through your Wi-Fi. You know, you connect to it through the Wi-Fi. And um, what it comes with is, of course, the, the printer itself and um, this tray. And this is where you're going to put your printer paper. And this is, uh, when I purchased it, it was probably about $84, I'm thinking, something like that. It's been a couple of years, and um, then I went ahead and picked up a box of the, the box comes with 108 sheets of print of the paper um, and some ink cartridges, enough to make, to, you know, to print all of those 108 sheets, um, and so, and I think that was about $30 for that. Now, uh, the first thing you do, the instructions are really, really simple on this. Um, first thing you need to do is you need to download the app um, on your phone for the Canon Selfie, and it's it's really easy to find. Um, and then you will go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to... Uh, because it'll give you that choice, and so if you hear something, that's my puppy. Um, you will connect to that to your printer, and then um, this screen pops up. Okay, and the buttons are really self-explanatory. You've got on button, the menu, editing, and you're okay. And it's got a up, down, and left and right arrows uh, to zoom in and out to go back in your menus um, and then to print 
So what you'll do is you'll hold down your on button. Okay. And your cartridges over over here to the side and they just slide in. Okay. And then this front compartment you'll open up and you'll take your your little tray here and it says to open on this side so you open that and then to put the paper in which you'll put in shiny side up um you'll put in and you just open the tray there and put in your paper okay and then you just slide that in till it clicks okay and so you're pretty much right now you're pretty much set up and then you, like I said, you'll go to your Wi-Fi and, and connect to the Canon, the Selfie CP1200. Uh, and then you'll go over to your app. And you will... Well, I'm going to go to the app and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is the, a picture of the app, and what you'll do is you will choose to go to your photos, download, um, do a, a layout, um, and then it will take you to your choice of where you want to pull from the uh, from what area. And so I went to my photo album, and I chose it. Uh, recently added and it brought I chose the picture I wanted and I'll bring you to here this is where you'll do your editing and then you'll hit print okay so I've hit print and it's going to come out now it will go in and out about three or four times and what it's going to do is it's going to print each undertone separately. Like right now it's doing the yellows. And then it's going to do the reds. The blues. And the whites. Okay, and that's all that's to it. Now, um, of course, you don't want to touch the picture itself for a while until that kind of dries. But at, And they have a portion at the top and at the bottom where you can kind of snap that off. If you can see that, that line right there, um, you can snap it off so it gives you a nice, uh, you know, border. Or not border, but you know, top and bottom. So that it, it's just that easy to do that. And these pictures are really they came out really nice. Of course, I have a lot of these older pictures, but like I love pictures. Like here's my like that picture came out so great. That's my I found a picture of my grandfather. And then my grandmother way back when she was young. Beautiful. And so um, it prints out so nice. And so I like to have that for my larger pictures that I want to have, you know, and use if I'm doing, you know, scrapbooking or, or whatever. Now let me show you the, um, the mini the Kodak Mini. Okay, now here's the Mini and the Mini, um, whoops, right here. The Mini and the Mini 2. Okay, now um, since I'm out of film or, you know, printer paper for this one, um, I'm not going to go through that one, but it'll be almost the same thing as this Mini um, 2. So let me show you how we set that up. Okay, I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. Okay. 
okay and it'll come like this and so you can see by my hand it's not very big okay and so you could actually carry this around with you um, just because you don't have to actually even have it plugged in if I can have that I'll set that up there um, be, it comes with a little user guide and if you want to do a, well your limited one-year warranty um, it comes with that and then you'll just charge it and so you you do not have to have it plugged in when you want to go ahead and use this so um, I'm gonna take it out of the plastic okay and then it comes kind of with a protective cover on it Let's take that off Okay, so that's what it looks like. All right, now, the first thing you're going to want to do, and I did this just exa exact same thing with this one, but the first thing I did was I went ahead and charged it, okay? And let's check, and over here on the side is where the cartridge goes. On this side, it shows you, like when you're charging, the you'll have a light here, and it'll be red until it's fully charged, then it'll turn green, I think it was. And then it, when you turn it on, that, um, that little hole right there will be a white. But over here, this just snaps open, and see, here's the cartridge already in it. And it just slides in, and you just, you can grab it by this and pull it in and out. So that's all that's to it. So I'm going to charge it, and then we will print a picture. Okay, so on the Mini, you will go to Apps, and you will click on the uh, Kodak Mini Shot. And this would be also for the Mini and then the Mini 2. And you will download that app. Um, once you do that, you'll go into your settings and you'll want to open up your Bluetooth. Now on the selfie, you'll go into the Wi-Fi, but on here you'll go to the Bluetooth. And then you go back to your app and you'll choose um, if you want to get into your pictures. And I chose this picture. And of course, you'll do your editing here. Okay, so I picked my picture, I did all my editing, and now I sent it to my printer. And I think it will do the same as the selfie. It will go back and forth about three or four times. And I'll do the different undertones. And there's my picture. See how good that turns out? Looks like it was just taken. And that was a picture, I don't know, an uncle by, I don't know how many, fourth or fifth. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I have to look that up. But um, I'm giving all these pictures off uh, people that are sharing on Ancestry.com. And I just think they are turning out so great. This was a picture I found of my grandmother um, when she was young. She was very pretty. But, um, so anyways, and like, I also have a picture of a great, great uncle and his wife. Or I think that was, let's see, that was, where is she? 
she she was my third great aunt something like that but anyways um i'm just loving this and it if you're doing any type of where you're needing a smaller picture i love this you could do it anywhere um and you know it's your picture off your phones and i'm just um so i consider this one of my tools so um if you have any questions, let me know, and I can help you with that, hopefully. <laughs> okay, and like I said, I'm planning on doing a photo album of my ancestors. And so I started out with this, where I took um, an old photo album, and um, I started putting my uh, decorative paper on there. And as you can see here, it and so I have a few pictures there, and then I want to fill this in with some of the names of our family. More paper. Whoops. And I just took a piece of paper. It, you know, I really wanted that tree in here. And so I just cut it in half and put it on one side and the other side. And I had that piece of paper there because um, that makes me think of my grandmother. So I wanted to have that in there. This just came from a paper pad that I had um, for family and things like that. So I plan to do some pockets and maybe some where you um, can open up pages inside of this to store more of the pictures. But that's why I wanted to have a lot of small pictures and then some of the larger pictures. And so I'm excited about this and I'm going to do some journaling. So that'll be, that'll be nice. But anyways, thank you for watching. And, um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I would, hopefully I could help you. Um, and you have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon.